Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice problem. We have x to the power x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 1. And we have to find all the possible solutions to this problem. But before we begin, if you are new here, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. It is free, there's no charges on that, and you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. First of all, I'll rewrite this problem in the form m to the power n is equal to 1. Alright, so this means that m is equal to this x and then this n is equal to the whole of this exponent. Alright, so what are some of the conditions that will make this statement or equation true? Well, in this video, we'll be considering three cases. And the first case is m is equal to 1. Now, considering this power, which is n over here, is positive, okay? So, if m is equal to 1, then it doesn't matter how large this exponent is, it will still be 1, all right? So, one case is that m should be equal to 1, all right? Then another one is n should be equal to 0. And then m should not be equal to 0. Alright, so why are we saying m should not be equal to 0? So if m is equal to 0 over here, then it means we have 0 exponent 0, which is indeterminate, right? So if n is equal to 0, m should never be equal to 0. Now let's come to the third case. Now the third case, we are saying that m should be equal to negative 1, and then n should be even. Alright, so why are we saying that? Now, for instance, if you have negative 1 to the second power, this is the same as negative 1 times negative 1, and this is equal to 1, because negative negative is equal to positive. And from here, this statement is true when n is even over here, which is 2, all right? Now, if you have negative 1 to the fourth power, this is the same as negative 1 to the second power times negative 1 to the second power. And as we did earlier, negative 1 to the second power is nothing but 1, okay? Then times 1. So 1 times 1 is 1, all right? Now, if we have negative 1 to the third power, this is the same as negative 1 to the second power times negative 1 to the first power, but we don't write, okay? So now, as we learned earlier, negative 1 to the second power is 1, then times this negative 1, okay? So we have 1 times negative 1, which is equal to negative 1, all right? So we are saying that for this statement to be true, m should be equal to negative 1, and then n should be even, all right? So we are going through all these statements to find the possible solutions to this problem, all right? So now, from the first case, which is this case, m is equal to 1 means that x is equal to 1, and this is one of the possible solutions to this problem, all right? Now let's focus on the second case. We are saying that n is equal to 0 and then m is not equal to 0. But in this case, we have n to be x squared minus 5x plus 6. And we are saying it should be equal to 0. So from here, we have x to the power 2 minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. So you will find two numbers that when you multiply, you will get this 6. But when you add them up, you will get negative 5. And those numbers are negative 2, negative 3. So I will rewrite this equation again. So we have x to the power 2 minus 2x minus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. All right. So from here, we have x into x minus 2, then we have negative 3 into 
x minus 2. And this is equal to 0. So from here we have x minus 3, then x minus 2. And this is equal to 0. Okay. So from here we can say that x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0. So now let's make x the subject from this equation. So we have x minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0 plus 3. And this implies that x is equal to 3. All right. So from this equation, we have x minus 2 is equal to 0. So making x the subject, we have x minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0 plus 2. So this implies that x is nothing but 2. All right. So these two equations are valid solution to this problem. m is equal to negative 1 implies that x is equal to negative 1. And considering the third case, like from here, we are saying that n should be even. So let's test and see whether n is even. So plugging x is equal to negative 1 into x squared minus 5x plus 6. Let's check and see whether this is an even number. So here we have negative 1 squared minus 5 times negative 1 plus 6. So negative 1 squared is 1, then negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5 plus 6, and this is equal to 12. So as you can see, 12 is an even number. So now we can conclude that x is equal to negative 1, 1, 2, and then 3. And guess what? We are done. Guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.